Hi, I'm David and today I would like to walk you through a demonstration of how you can run industrial defect detection at the edge using Amazon SageMaker. First, why is this important? Why are we discussing defect detection at the edge with machine learning? Well, for discrete manufacturing processes, we typically see a high volume of products produced with very short cycle times, ranging from seconds to maybe even milliseconds. And for a defect detection system, something like a end of line inspection, uh, this requires low latency to identify defects with the same kind of throughput. Uh, often we also see customers having uh, requirements for data privacy. So um, sensitive quality data may, may not be permitted to leave the on-premises or even regulatory requirements for this. Now I would like to show you an example application that we use in the course of this demo that actually runs on an edge device. And we will see later in this video how this is actually built behind the scenes. For this example that we showed today in the demonstration, we are using the Collector STD2 surface detection dataset that um, provides a very a great example for how you can run defect detection on industrial parts. So in this case, this data set comes with different types of surface defects that we can see here in, on the left side. And um, we are also provided with segmentation masks that we can use to train a, a image segmentation model. So let's jump to the Edge application to see this in action. For this, let me pull up my browser window. And here we can see a simple web application that could run on an edge device. Uh, and we can see a camera stream of um, surface images that are uh, captured f uh, within a uh, production line that pr uh, produces, for example, parts every five seconds in this case. Uh, and those new images are coming in all the time. And we al can also see that this edge application is running two machine learning models, one image classification model and one semantic segmentation model. And we see the predictions of those models here on the bottom. Um, and as we can see, the image classification model is able to spot whether a surface uh, image here is normal or whether it has a anomaly. And we can also see that the semantic segmentation model tells us where exactly this anomaly is located on the image. And then the worker could use this information to um, further do additional tests on this, on this product or even um, sort it out and um, throw it away, something like that, right? So um, now let's have a look at how this is built behind the scenes. So let's have a look at the architecture of the solution that I'm going to show today. And the architecture, since it's a cloud or a hybrid solution, consists of two parts. On the left side, we see the AWS cloud. And on the right side, we see the edge location. Uh, and on the edge location, there is a edge device running that um, is actually uh, running the application together with the SageMaker Edge Manager Edge Agent which is a agent process that is running on the edge device and provides capabilities to manage the life cycle of machine learning models deployed from the AWS cloud on the edge device. So now when a data scientist would, to be, uh, uh, would be developing a new model for the edge device, um, he would, for example, work a, on a notebook. And um, in our case, we use um, SageMaker pipelines to automate the process of building those models by chaining together processing, training, and evaluation. Um, a newly produced version of this model will then be registered in the SageMaker model registry. Um, and from there, we are able to automatically deploy those models to the edge device. So um, once now a, a persona um, or actor on the system approves a mo new model version in the SageMaker model registry, we kick off a deployment workflow that uh, compiles the model using SageMaker New and using SageMaker Edge packaging job, it packages this model and prepares it for deployment onto the Edge device. We are then using AWS IoT by submitting an AWS IoT job um, to instruct the Edge device to download the new model version. Um, from there, the Edge device will, as I said, download the new um, model package from the cloud and makes it available to the application um, to, to run predictions and um, get those prediction results as we've seen right now in the application. Once this model is running in production, we can use SageMaker Edge fleets to uh, receive heartbeats and additional information over a large number of Edge devices that are connected to this fleet. And we can also use the Capture Data um, API of Edge Agent to capture or sample inference results that could be possibly used to retrain the model. 
So now that we've seen the architecture, let's have a closer look into how this looks like hands-on. We are going to start with the model building part of the architecture here on the left side. So to start building our first model, I'm going to go into SageMaker Studio, which is our integrated development environment for building custom machine learning models. I'm going to click on Open Studio for my user. And we are being redirected into the SageMaker Studio environment. So when we now go to the bottom left tab here, we can see all the different pipelines associated with this AWS account um, in this region. And we can see that I already started a, a execution of this pipeline for image classification. So let's, um, so let's, let's evaluate that a little bit. The um, execution could be either triggered through a CSED pipeline or even manually through a code execution. Um, and we can see here, we have a closer look at the pre-processing step in the beginning. We then have a training job for image classification. We then evaluate the model against the test data set. And finally, if this accuracy score on the test data is over 80%, so this is this accuracy condition here, the model will be registered in the SageMaker model registry. So I will uh, give this pipeline a few minutes to complete and come back once this is finished successfully. We're now gonna have a look at the second part of the architecture, which is model deployment. All right, the training run has successfully completed and we can see that all of the different steps in the pipeline have executed successfully. Um, apparently the accuracy condition was met. So we have achieved over 80% accuracy and the new model has been registered in the SageMaker model registry. So now let's go ahead, go here on the left to model registry. We will select the one model package group for image classification. And we can see a new version here being registered just from the, from the previous pipeline run. If I click on that, I can investigate things like metrics here. Uh, and we can see we actually have a accuracy on the test set of 99.6%. And I think that is pretty sufficient for right now. Uh, you can also investigate things like the model location of the actual model artifact that has been saved from the training run. Once I'm happy with the outcome here, I can go ahead and update model status to approved. I can add a comment here. So now that the model has been approved, it should kick off automatically our automated deployment workflow. So now let's go to step functions to actually see this execution running. Uh, and in this execution, what is happening is we are creating a new compilation job. Um, and once this is finished, we are creating an edge packaging job. And this will then trigger a um, IoT job that will instruct the edge device to download the new um, packaged model version. Right. So I'm going to give this another few minutes to finish and complete and come back once this is done. So now once the deployment is finished, we are going to have a look at the last part of the architecture, which is inference on the edge. OK, the deployment workflow completed successfully. And let's jump to the Edge application. So we, we have the web application that is running on the Edge device in another browser tab here. Um, and as you can see, um, when we look at the list here on the, on the top, we can see all the different models loaded into a SageMaker Edge agent here. And here we have the image classification model version two. So this seems to have worked accordingly. And as we can see, it is already running inference on the images that come in from the camera stream. And we can see the classifications on the bottom of the images being classified as anomalous or as normal. So I will now do exactly the same steps for the semantic segmentation model. So also rerunning the pipeline for semantic segmentation um, and then deploying this to the edge device to see the whole application in action. All right, so now I also deployed the semantic segmentation model, which we can see here um, in the list uh, of the models that are loaded into the Edge agent. We have semantic segmentation model version one, and um, we can see it already running in action when we scroll down here to the model predictions, and it seems to work quite well, giving us an indication where the defect is located on the image that is coming through in um, the camera stream. So for the normal images, we won't have any um, indications, of course, because there's no defect. But once we have a anomalous uh, image here, we can see the white spots are indicating where this um, location is, and it's actually working quite well um, from what I see at the moment. So now let's um, see the um, 
edge agent actually sending inference data to the cloud. And we can see this when we go to the bucket for this project, which is here named HML and demo EU West one. And um, if I go into this prefix called edge agent inference data capture, which I can um, define in the configuration of the edge agent, I can select by model here um, and by version. So let's see the inference results, for example, for image classification. This is partitioned by day and time. And um, we can see that these um, JSON-L files are dropped here. And if I were to open that one, um, it would uh, tell me um, or give me information about the input tensors and the prediction output. And I can use this information then to feed this back into the training process and further improve my model performance. Yeah, this concludes the demo of the day. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And if you want to try this out yourself, I encourage you to go to our public GitHub repository that is accompanying this, this demo uh, here on YouTube. Uh, and you can try this out on your own Edge device on something like a Jetson Nano or simulate this in an EC2 instance as well. Thanks for watching.